this weekend, the UFC pairs with Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury 2, a matchup between two of the best lightweights in the world right now. Dan Hooker, who is ranked in at number seven, Dan the Hangman Hooker, will take on the Irish Dragon Paul Felder at UFC Auckland in UFC's first trip to New Zealand this year. There is so many talented fighters that could be six stylistic matchups in this division, and this one could be a fight of the year contender. Both guys look two to three fights away from a title shot, but the, at this point, this fight makes all the sense. The Irish Dragon isn't at all uninformed on the art of putting on 50K worthy performances. Three performance of the night bonuses with a fight of the night to the only man to beat Dan Hooker in Edson Barboza. He's 17 and four in his UFC career. He has two split decision losses, has only ever been stopped via a cut, and he has a loss at 170. Felder is a tough guy, and he comes in as the higher-ranked lightweight in this matchup, coming off the win against Edson Barboza. Now, Dan Hooker, on the other hand, gets home field advantage for this one. He found a home at 155, moving up in 2017, and has won six of seven fights, with two performance of the night bonuses coming in that little that run of wins. With probably the Ally Quinta fight, you could have said was a performance of the night bonus, if not outshined by teammate Israel Adesanya on that same card. His only loss at 155 comes to the opponent, as we've mentioned before, Edson Barbosa. But he does hold two big wins, dominating Ally Aquinta in a three-round fight at UFC 243 and a first-round win over Gilbert Burns, who I openly think is one of the most savage guys in the UFC and is finding success in the UFC welterweight division after making the move to 170. In Dan's seven-fight run at lightweight, he's improved his strikes landed per minute to just about seven. That puts him second to only Justin Gaethje. Hooker comes in with a five-inch reach advantage and is one up in height, with the most intriguing point of this matchup being that this fight is in Auckland. As we know, Dan Hooker trains very close to the stadium, and the aspect of the fight is how will Dan Hooker perform at home, and how will Paul Felder, who will come to Auckland, We'll see how the travel affects him in this fight. I'm super excited. I would probably lean towards Dan Hooker, who has been finding a groove at lightweight. But really, the only sticking point for me, the hard point for me, is that they both have fought Edson Barbosa. One is 1-1. One and one. one was 0-1 oh and, and got stopped by him. So it's a very, very interesting matchup here. I think Felder is going to be able to take whatever Hooker throws at him. But I think that Hooker is going to win on points when it comes down to the judges in Auckland. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to win this fight? Do you think there's going to be one dominant performer? Do you think the fight is going to be easily won by Paul Felder or Dan Hooker? I want you to let me know that in the comment section below. And if not, just let me know who you think is going to win and why. But that'll do it for me today. I'm super excited for not only this, but Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury too. And it's going to be a fun-ass fight fan weekend. So be excited. Again, this is it for me today. Peace out, guys.